Today's episode is brought to you by Function of Beauty. Our absolute favorites. Function of Beauty makes personalized shampoos and conditioners that are formulated just for you guys. And now they have even more to treat your unique needs from hair to toe. Along with hair care, they now offer customizable body wash and body lotion. Function of Beauty's formulas always use clean ingredients, are cruelty-free, and every bottle is individually formulated to give you what you need to look and feel your best. So what are you waiting for? Go to functionofbeauty.com slash advice to take your four-part hair profile quiz and save 20% on your first hair care order. Go to functionofbeauty.com forward slash advice, A-D-V-I-C-E, to get 20% off your first hair care order. And to let them know that you heard about them from our show. That's functionofbeauty.com slash advice. This episode of Unsolicited Advice is brought to you by Himalaya Botanique Toothpaste. Sometimes using natural toothpaste can feel like a trade-off. Sure, it's great to ditch your SLS and artificial flavors, but brushing with a natural toothpaste can feel flat and bland, right, Darren? Yes, Himalaya Botanique, our sponsors for today's episode, is a toothpaste that's free from fluoride, SLS, and artificial colors and flavors. But unlike other similar toothpastes, they don't compromise on flavor or performance. So if you guys are interested in trying this for yourself, get 20% off Himalaya Botanique toothpaste on Amazon with discount code unsolicited. That's U-N-S-O-L-I-C-I-T-E-D. Check out the show's notes for more details on this episode's sponsorship with Himalaya Botanique. Today's episode, we are partnering with some of our faves, PEDS. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You spend all day on your feet, and one of the best ways to care for your feet is with your socks. PEDS All Day Active No-Show Socks are perfect for whatever you have planned that day. Whether it's staying in, working out, running errands, it provides comfort, durability, and support. So if you guys would like to get a pair of your own, they are available at PEDS.com, that's P-E-D-S.com, and other retailers such as Target and Amazon. Ash. Yes. I'm pissed. Why? What happened this morning? Tell everyone. Guys, me, so today's a busy day and I was like, you know what? We're going to wake up early. We're going to go get coffee. We're going to record the pod and get it done so that we can get everything else done today. And I, me and Taryn get up. We go to the coffee shop like we normally do. I was waiting for my quad shot latte. Mm-hmm. And um, it's taking an extra long time. I'm getting frustrated waiting in the car. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go talk and tell them I'm here so they can give it to me. I get there, tell them, hey, like I'm here. And um, I wait for probably another 15 minutes. It was a long time. A really long time. Evidently, the espresso machine broke. No, the travesty is Ashley made me get up early this morning, told me it was on her. So now, Alfred, you owe me money. Goodbye. The end. I'm pissed. (laughs) Alfred owes me money. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Uh, So, and that's where we're at. And so uh, it was a bit bit of a bummer. We've had better mornings for sure. (laughs) But we're here. We're here. We're trying to, you know, rally. I made coffee. You didn't make coffee. Are you okay? No, I'm good. I'll drink it later. (laughs) Okay. I'm high on life right now. Today is our very first normal episode back on the pod. We're not interviewing anyone. We're not doing an October series. We're back with your guys' stories that you want advice on like normal. Feels good. Life is not normal, but this is normal. And that's why you come to us as an escape from reality. So let's listen to some problems. (laughs) To make us all feel, in, yeah, um, let's, alone. Like, I'm we alone. feel like we have maybe we have our lives on track when we yeah. hear other people that are having problems. This is exciting because now we can do like small talk again. Oh, I know. I went through um all of your guys' stories and um. No, I'm saying about us, Ash. Wait, what? Like about us? We can be like, "How's your week? How's your oh, week?" Because true. we haven't been. We haven't been. No. Yeah, but I was going through your guys' stories and I really it's been like a month over a month since I've like scrolled through and just seen like your guys's life yeah. stories. And it mm-hmm. was great. It was, uh, it was a good feeling. We're excited to be back. It was exciting to not see in the titles, like death demons. You, you will not be able to sleep. So. Scariest story I've ever yeah. seen. Witnessed. Yeah. Wrote. Written. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a great start. Um, what was I going to say? You've got no coffee, Ashley, today. Yeah, no coffee, Ashley. Get out the way. 
Honestly, I'm surprised you're super peppy right now for no coffee ash. We we, <laughs> we have no choice. <laughs> No other option. Do it for the pod. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any updates we should give you guys, but no. honestly, the world is no. falling apart, but we're still here. Yeah. And we are your core oh. centered it's a lot of pressure. Grounding. Sure. Podcast. Yes. Let's keep it together. I will say I've noticed small talk has gotten harder. <laughs> because there's like even on dating apps, it's like Hey, hi. Hey. How's life? It's fine. <laughs> and you're just like, oh. what you doing? Okay. That's it. Like, there's yeah. just nothing to talk about. What'd you have for dinner tonight? So, and then eventually everyone just dips out. Well, yeah. That, we don't want to go. No, I mean, that. that's where we're at this year. <laughs> we're trying, we keep it real on this podcast. We and keep that it is where real. we're at this that year. That is where we're at. Um, well, since our lives are so boring, should we jump like into we should just dive right other in. people's lives? Yeah. <laughs> What we do best. Do you want... Uh, I'll go first. Do you want okay. to go first? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So this story is called My Band-Aid Ex-Boyfriend. Band-Aid. Yeah. It's funny because sometimes like I read the titles and I try to like guess what the story is about. Right. Same. And sometimes I'm right. I definitely feel like I was wrong in this one. <laughs> but anywho. Okay. Dear Taryn and Ashley, I hope you both are doing well. I'm a preschool teacher. Girl, that's right up my alley. That's who I work with, preschoolers. Preschool teacher, and I love listening to your pod while I'm planning my lessons. My name is Fran. You can say my name. Oh, thank God. I saw parentheses, and I was like, I'm so sorry. Um, she's from South America. She says the probabilities that someone I know is listening are low, which is Good for you. Until again, we might just like mess around and get famous. So it's a huge possibility. <laughs> I looked at Ash like, right? <laughs> right? You have faith in us? Okay. I need advice on my ex boyfriend. He's what I like to call a band aid ex. But let me tell the backstory first. I met him this summer. I turned 18. We were both vacationing in the same beach town, and some mutual friends introduced us. He was 22 at the time. I'm not kidding when I say it was love at first sight. Like, Love that for you. Guys, I've been extra sappy with like wanting to find love, but also too lazy and picky to find love. So it's my own fault. But also like, what do you do this year? What Nothing. do you do this year? Nothing. Dating has been paused this year. So I can't even trust that you're not a serial killer, let alone that you've been being careful. Mm-hmm. Now, mm -hmm. it's just not, that's why I watch so many movies. I get lost in, you know, <laughs> what could be. Anyways, now that I've dove into my pathetic states. Okay. We spent what was left of the summer together and then we returned to the city and we started dating right away. Long story short, we were together for almost two years. And even though our relationship wasn't perfect, those were truly the most amazing years. Sadly, I was going through a lot of stuff at the time as I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So I felt very lost and ended up pushing him away when I needed him most. We broke up and six months later, he already had another girlfriend. Ooh, dang. Of course they do. It was very devastating for me, but time passed by and I healed. After almost two years of not having any contact with him, he reached out and we started talking again. His girlfriend had dumped him and he was a wreck. At first, it was all like old times. So I had hoped that we would get back together. But instead, we became friends with benefits. Dang. <laughs> Hate it. Little by little, I started to feel like a rebound. When I realized this, we continued talking, but I was clear to him that we could only be friends as I was starting to develop feelings for him again. And he didn't seem to. I kept my distance and actually met another guy who I dated for another two years. He magically had another girlfriend three months after I got a boyfriend, but only, that only lasted five months. When he broke up again, he reached out to me like a wounded dog crying wow. for help. <laughs> this time I was unavailable, but he had the audacity to keep trying and I actually got in a lot of trouble with my boyfriend. 
I'm not kidding. Eight months went by and he had again another girlfriend with whom he lasted seven months. And can you guess what happened after that? He came back because they broke up. Yes, he he came back to me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The thing is, now I'm single again. So to recap, it's been seven years since we started dating, five years since we broke up, and without fail, he comes back like a wounded dog every time his relationships don't work out. That's why I call him my Band-Aid ex, because I feel like I'm the Band-Aid he comes looking for every time another girl breaks his heart. I'm almost 25 now, currently single, and I have no idea what to do. Should I give him another chance and try to have a relationship with him? I know the spark's still there, and he has said that he's open to having something with me again. The thing is, I don't know if I believe him. I don't want to play his games and be his band-aid anymore. Or should I tell him to go away, stop pursuing me when things go wrong with other girls? What would you do? Lots of love, Fran. Okay, did I miss? Is she she single and he's single. single? Yes. So she was in a relationship, but now... He just came back again, but now she's single. So they're both single now. Got so it. now she's saying, should I end this cycle or should I actually give it another freaking try? I mean. I mean, that's the question of life. <laughs> should this is I, applicable in so many ways. Should I eat healthy again? <laughs> should I try again? Or should I eat this donut? <laughs> should I give him another chance or should I be like, nah? Should we? Be, you know what I mean? I feel like, okay, I'm torn. I'm torn. I feel like half of me is like, no, cut the cycle. It's done. You've had your fun. It's over. And also, I didn't like how he came chasing after you when you were clearly in a relationship. That bothered me. I'm going to say that. However, now that you're both single, I mean- She's what, struggling. What the problem was watching. before was that you were in a relationship and that wasn't cool of him. Yeah. But now that you are both available, then trying again is fine. If you but still also, like him. Also, there's the time before where he came back to her and basically just used her to get over his ex, but then was like, but I don't have you feelings can't, for you. You definitely, I don't think, okay, let me clarify. By trying again, I don't think that means friends with benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that means actually trying again. So if he's down to actually try again, then I would take it very slow and I would try again. But I wouldn't jump into, you know, uh, you get to have all the fun, but not the relationship yeah. part. Um, Cause that, that's where, that's where it gets gray. That's where it gets really blurry. Yeah. Um, so you have to take care of yourself, obviously, and protect yourself first. But if you still like the guy and he likes you, and you're both available, then- I don't know. I see. I see nothing wrong in, in giving it another try. Just being very careful with. You got to set boundaries. Mm-hmm. You got to set rules. Thoughts? Yes. So I have a few thoughts, but it ultimately boils down to one statement. One drop the mic statement. Mm. <laughs> it's not that deep, but okay. So yes, I agree with Ash. I think there's definitely like two ways you could go for this. One, it's like, it's a been a seven year thing. So it's, it's dragged on enough. You've seen how it's been successful in areas and then not successful in areas. So I definitely can see the side where it's like, okay, this is clearly like, you just come back to me when you're butt hurt and mm-hmm. I'm your safety. And like, nobody wants to just be that for somebody, mm-hmm. but It's very possible. Like, that's the thing. Like, every time I'm in a situation, you always hear, it reminds me of, um, he's just not that into you, Mm -hmm. where Mm -hmm. every girl says, like, there, but he did this and this and this. And then everyone has, like, a, well, I knew a cousin who they were dating and then they had seven years apart and then they magically were each other's soulmate. Yeah. So the thing is, is it totally could happen and it could totally be part of your story with him that you guys, we're young and dumb and like you didn't know what you wanted and he never could just like let go of you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's totally possible. But what it boils down to is how he makes you feel. Does he make you insecure? Like, like, are you going into this being like, well, I don't know. Like he's made me feel like I'm not important mm-hmm. before. Like, 
Is he just going to leave again? Is he your Band-Aid? Is he? Well, I mean, technically he keeps coming back. But yeah, I think that's good to see too. Mm -hmm. Like, where are you at right now? Like, Mm -hmm. are you just thinking about this because you just got out of a relationship? Mm -hmm. But mainly, like, does he make you a better version of yourself? Is this someone that you can trust with your heart, your life, like your future? Mm -hmm. And I think if you take aside, like, all the history, all the what ifs, him as a person and him in regards to how you feel when you're with him, like, is that worth it? Because sometimes I think we get so wrapped up in this scenario that when we actually look at the person, we're like, wait, why am I fighting so hard to make this happen? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you kind of suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're like, you're fighting for the history, not yeah. actually the person. Yes, or that feeling of having someone like you which like you sound like a dope person. So he's not like your only possibility. So I think it's just comes down to really, is he someone that you want and you can feel stable in and you feel loved by and prioritized by? If that's the case, then I think if you enter into this, you need to have a freaking upfront come to Jesus meeting Mm -hmm. where you're like, hey, I can't do this back and forth. So like, if we are going to try this, this is what it looks like to me. And if this doesn't go anywhere, like that's, I have to like have space, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And if he, if if he hears you out and is, is okay, is okay with that. And, and you, you know, boil it down to him being a good guy. I want to give it a go, go for it. And if not, that's your sign. Yeah. I also think too, though, if, I'm not a huge fan of like breaking up and getting back together just because I think a lot of issues come with that. Stereotypically. Yes. Stereotypically what I've seen in person, whatever. Um, but I think that it can work if it is a completely brand new, fresh relationship. So like I would literally attack it as if you guys just met, like start going on dates, start talking Mm -hmm. about like your lives. Don't just be like, Oh, we've been, we've known each other for so long. Like we just have always, you know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. start it as a brand new, fresh relationship and forgive each other for what's been in the past and go forward with fresh eyes or else it's just going to keep feeling jumbled. You know, I a thousand, thousand percent agree with what Taryn said. Thanks boo. So anyways, I hope that helped. I feel like we gave, we did a good job of like both sides. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, good luck. You know, if you pray, I would pray about it before, get some clarity, talk to some friends. And even if you're afraid of what they're going to say, that is key. Yeah. You need to talk to people you love. Don't only tell them the details that will sway them to agree with you. (laughs) Tell them like all the juicy, dirty details, you know? Yeah. Also, if any drama happens or you guys end up being like true love and getting married, you should update us. Yes. Yeah. Be interested. We're very, we're very invested, but... (laughs) We love you, girl. You got this. And thank you so much for writing in. Good luck. Good luck. (laughs) May the odds be ever in your favor. (laughs) I mean, at least you've got prospects. Prospects this year. (laughs) I just want to crush. 2020 is rough for the single ladies, right? It's for the single anybody. So I feel like society has finally realized like one size fits all is just not something that works anymore. It's not a thing. It's It's not not a a thing. thing. I'm an individual. We have different bodies. We have different skin needs. We have different hair needs, Ash. Hair needs. So why are we buying the same shampoo and conditioner? No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. We bought into the lie. We bought into the lie, (laughs) but here to tell the truth is Function of Beauty. Yeah, guys. If you don't know what Function of Beauty is or this is your first time hearing about it, I don't know how if you're fans of us. I know, guys. Come on. <laughs> We're big fans. Function of Beauty makes personalized shampoos and conditioners that are formulated just for you. And now they have even more to treat your unique needs from hair to toe. Their new body wash and lotion are tailored to your skin, moisture levels, and other preferences. Guys, this is so cool. You get to basically take a profile quiz for your skin. You can take a profile quiz for your hair and tell them exactly what needs you specifically need. And they will tailor make a body wash, body lotion, or shampoo and conditioner just for you. So cool. And one of my absolute favorite parts is you can actually pick the color. (laughs) 
<laughs> and I know it sounds dumb, but like, it's my favorite part. Oh no, yeah. I've changed it up over the years. You know, today I'm doing like a melon scent and it's like a light green. I've done another scent before. It was like lavender and I was very into that one as well. <laughs> and another fun thing is you get your name on it. So there's no mix matching. You can, you know, if people want to borrow your shampoo, you're like, sure, no problem, but return it after. And they know who it belongs to because your name's got on your it. name on it. So what are you waiting for? Go to functionofbeauty.com slash advice to take your four-part hair profile quiz and save 20% on your first hair care order. Go to functionofbeauty.com forward slash advice, A-D-V-I-C-E to get 20% off your first hair care order and to let them know that you heard about them from our show. That's functionofbeauty.com slash advice. So I don't know about you, Ash, but I am always in this, this, war with myself where I want to try natural products but sometimes when you try natural products you feel like you're like sacrificing the experience you know what's funny I grew up on the other side my mom only really? used natural products I always had very organic natural products in my house so when I tried other products like like store brand products I was like whoa <laughs> yeah there's always such a huge difference and especially with toothpaste like it feels flat it's like bland it makes your mouth feel sometimes like unclean kind of chalky yes and mm-hmm. I've tried a lot of them but that is not the case with our sponsor for today's episode, Ayo. Himalaya Botanique Toothpaste. Himalaya Botanique, our sponsors for today's episode, is a toothpaste that is free from fluoride, SLS, and artificial colors and flavors. But unlike other similar toothpaste, they don't compromise on flavor, Taryn. Love they that. don't. And Love they that. don't compromise on performance. Himalaya toothpaste is always bursting with foam and flavor. See, that's the key. That's the key. The foam. Like you need that foaming Foam and flavor. And I could just brush my teeth for hours. It feels so good. I'm like, yes, there we go. Clean teeth. Clean teeth. So if you guys want clean teeth, (laughs) (laughs) um, try it for yourself. Get 20% off Himalaya Botanique toothpaste on Amazon with discount code unsolicited. That's U-N-S-O-L-I-C-I-T-E-D. Check out the show's notes for more details on this episode's sponsorship with Himalaya Botanique. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get into mine. All right. Uh, This one is titled, I think I'm cheating on my boyfriend without even knowing it. This sounds juicy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's get on into it. Hi, Ashley and Taryn. Just wanted to start off by saying that I love you guys and your podcast. I listen to you guys every time I'm commuting to work and sometimes even in the shower. (laughs) Love that. Love that we're your shower buddy. I, I don't know about you, but like I love hearing where people listen to us. Oh, for sure. Like lesson planning, doing laundry. Something you guys used to do at the top of our podcast was send us selfies of you, like videos or pictures of you listening to the pod and doing something completely random. Please do it. You know what? Maybe it was COVID. Maybe it was summer break that didn't happen, but y'all stopped and Mm -hmm. it broke our hearts and Mm -hmm. we love it. So you should do it. You should continue to do it. Let's start it again. I'm expecting to be reposting Tons of photos. So so many. Don't leave us hanging, people. (laughs) Um, She continues, my name is Jen. You guys can say my name. Hey, girl. I have been in a relationship with my boyfriend. Let's call him Nate for almost two years. I love this boy so much. Yeah, what's going on? The two years. I don't know. Same, same. Sorry, I interrupted. No, no, no. You're good. I love you. I love this boy so much, and we have been through so much together. Our relationship as a whole has been really healthy, and we are super happy together. It sounds amazing, right? Yes. Almost too good to be true. Yes. You guys might be wondering, why would she ask us for relationship advice if she's happy with her relationship? T. <laughs> Here's she my issue. Well. Yeah, she knows. She knows. <laughs> I have been working at this location for a pretty long time, and one day I was scheduled to work with someone new. For privacy reasons, his name is going to be Dan. <laughs> Sounds great. Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm a huge Gossip Girl fan. (laughs) Oh, uh, I said, yeah, but I didn't know. I didn't. (laughs) Anyways, so I met Dan that day. Let me tell you, this guy is so nice, funny, engaging, super fun to talk to. We had a lot in common hobby wise, but the one thing that that got me was that he was mysterious. The more I talked to him, the more I didn't want to stop. It was like we just got each other and we just clicked. Uh Uh-oh. That's rough. Uh, That's rough. That's rough. I have anxiety. Mm -hmm. (laughs) At first, 
I just kind of thought that he was the F boy who just liked hooking up with girls and didn't really have respect for women. But the more I talked to him, I found out that I was very wrong. Throughout our shift, we just kept talking and continued to get to know each other. But then he asked me if I had plans later that night and wanted to see if we could hang out. I know that the right way to handle this situation would be to tell him that I have a boyfriend, but I literally could not get myself to do it. Freaking sign number one. Sorry. I couldn't. Just, you know, take a mental note. Yep. I couldn't. So instead of being totally honest, I just told him that I had a lot of homework and studying to do, which wasn't a complete lie. I did have homework that I needed to get done because I was already behind. So he asked me for my social media accounts and we continued to talk through there when I got off. That night, he kept asking me when I would be free to hang out, but I kept dodging the question, trying to come up with all the excuses I possibly could. I know that it was so messed up, but I don't know why I can't be upfront and honest with him. The more I thought about it, I realized that I may be attracted to this guy. What makes it worse is that I'm with my boyfriend almost every day. So I always think of Nate whenever I feel these kinds of feelings for Dan. I am certainly not in love with Dan, but I am attracted to him and how mysterious this guy is. I just don't know what to do or why I'm feeling like this. Is it possible that I'm not 100% happy in my current relationship? Do I secretly miss being single? Or is this just a phase that will pass? I am just confused right now and would love if you girls could give me your advice. Thanks so much in advance. Love you guys and looking forward to hearing from you. XOXO Jen, which hilarious XOXO. She, she really kept with the theme, but I have an update. Wait, are we get wait, can we just talk about what we would think? I, I want to, or we can read it and then talk about what we think, or we can just go off of that and then. Okay, well, when you first read, what was your prediction of, like, how you thought the situation would go? Um, So, I think you're really attracted to Dan. Oh, we're, like, we're talking about it? I'm just saying, let's just throw out our predictions, and then you can read the update, and we'll see if we were right. Got it. Okay. Is the update juicy? I feel like you should do the update, because I already read the update. Oh, like me just got it. Yeah. Um... Do, is it like, does she update like she says something happens um, or it's just more how she feels? It's still more how she feels, but also something happens. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. I don't know why I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I think that she's either she's going to hang out with him or she's going to, or the boyfriend's going to start questioning it. Ooh, interesting. Okay, go. Okay. Am I right? She, <laughs> we, here she, okay. I'm so competitive. <laughs> so Jen sent a second email. Okay. Okay. Plot twist and has uh, a little bit more to add to this predicament. Um, she writes, it's very short. She writes, Hey girls, I have an update for you guys about my situation. And I think things just got a lot more complicated. Oh my gosh. Deep. Basically Dan and I were at work and my boss asked us to organize the beer closet. We were talking and all of a sudden he goes, would it be a bad thing if I just kissed you right now? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. She writes, I immediately said, yes, we're at work and pushed him away. And he, but he kept saying how badly he wanted to kiss me. It was literally like a scene from a movie. You guys have no idea how close I was to kissing this guy. The one thing that kept me from doing so was thinking of how hurt Nate would be if he found out and I couldn't do that to him. It's already bad enough that I'm attracted to Dan. I can't kiss him and act like nothing is wrong. Dan did apologize for his behavior, but that just made me want him even more. I don't understand why I'm like this with him, but not any other guy (laughs) that has ever tried to hit on me. I know that I need to tell Dan about Nate, but I can't get myself to do it. I feel like I seriously need to sit down and think about why I'm being like this because it's opened my eyes up so much more. The more I think about it, the more I realize that Nate and I haven't been connecting as much as we used to. We're always so preoccupied with school and work that we don't really even talk anymore. We're both always so tense and I just feel like we lost that connection slash spark when we first started dating. I don't know what to do. Send help, please. Much love, Jen. So I've always been 
like a major sock fan. Oh, for sure. For sure. Like that's, socks that's like are something everything. Taryn and I, if you don't know, Taryn and I are roommates and we <laughs> always have like socks on in the yeah. house. Um, and we have hardwood floors and like my, my thing is like just sliding from room to room. Yeah. <laughs> I've lit- I've bought you socks for presents. Yeah. You've bought me socks yeah. for presents. Every year. So we know, we freaking know mm-hmm. who peds are. And when we found out we were partnering with them, I totally fangirled. Oh, I lost it. Fangirled. When I I was uh, younger and, you know, all the cool kids had no show socks. Yep. I remember being like, mom, mom, yep. please. I yep. need these. <laughs> Guys, Peds All Day Active No-Show socks are made to bring comfort wherever you go with arch compression, which is my favorite part, (laughs) breathable mesh, and a comfortable toe seam and foot-forming fit. The socks provide quality and support at an affordable price. Key. Double tabs on the socks provide an additional layer between the pressure points on your foot and the shoe, which is just genius. The scientists at Peds nailed it. Like, why wasn't this a thing before? (laughs) Scientists at Peds. (laughs) (laughs) So, so obviously we highly recommend if you want to twin with us because we wear them literally 24 we 7 have, we have every color I, I have a pair on right now all the, the colors ones. yep <laughs> they are available at peds.com that's p-e-d-s.com and other retailers such as target or amazon ash yes the other day mm-hmm. i was like going through a store mm-hmm. and christmas decorations are oh out. they're here they're here fully it is officially Holiday season. Holiday season. It Let's sneaks go. up on you every year. And I'm just saying, you know, a lot of us are staying home more often. So we have to, you know, think ahead. Plan accordingly. Online shopping is going to be freaking the game changer yeah. this year. Yeah, absolutely. If you're not already thinking about shopping, you're you're behind. It's it's a harsh reality you're we got to face. Behind. And that's why we want to let you know about a great place to get ev- literally everything you need this holiday season with Zebit. With Zebit, you can shop thousands of products from your favorite brands and pay for them oh over gosh. time. We love that. I'm sorry. We love a payment this plan. This is the best thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> They have everything from Xboxes to TV tools, cookware, and furniture. Taryn and I and our uh, sister roommate. Sister roommate. (laughs) Sister roommate. I mean, that works. Um, (laughs) Desperately needed some new Switch controllers. Uh, You know, we only had two. And now we yep. got four. <laughs> we're, we're officially gamers because we we're are. cool like that. We are gamers. <laughs> and Zeva gives you the option to pay just a portion of the price at checkout with the rest spread out over time in an easy, affordable way. All payments. Oh, love that. Guys, and one of the best parts, especially for holiday seasons, when you don't know what to get someone, gift cards. Right. Gift cards is always the answer. Zebit even has gift cards from all of your favorite places like Sephora, Bath and Body Works, and Foot Locker. So whether you're in a pinch and need a last minute gift or want to shop somewhere else, Zebit's gift cards have you covered. I mean, they literally solve all your problems. All the problems. That's all, all the, the holiday problems. <laughs> so get a head start on your holiday shopping. Sign up to shop on Zebit today at zebit.com slash advice. That's Z-E-B-I-T dot com slash advice, A-D-V-I-C-E. Zebit.com slash advice. Wow, wow, I wow, have, wow, wow, wow. I literally have so many things to say. Oh my gosh, go for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Girl, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Wow. But like, you know. Uh Uh-huh. Like, you know. And I'm saying this as like, because we are like everyone's older sister. That's what we get told Mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, girl. (laughs) It's. Honey. You. By not. Telling this guy you have a boyfriend. You are saying so much. Mm -hmm. So much. Mm -hmm. It would be one thing if it was like, huh, like, you know, it's not like when you have a a boyfriend, if a guy says, hey, how are you? You have to be like, "Um, hi, I have a boyfriend. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this guy is pining over you. Like, and, and I feel so bad for him because 
in his mind, he's like, cool. I met the super dope girl at work. Like we're totally connecting. Like we're flirting. She's so pretty. Like we have all this stuff in common. And she likes me too. She likes me too. So of course he's going to go in for the kiss. Yeah. Like, he's thinking this is something fun. And for him, it's not fair to him either because now he's like, I'm so confused. Like, am I, am I getting signals wrong? Like she's like, is she playing hard to get? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really know. Yeah. So I, I feel bad for him that I'm, but this is just a side character. So we're just yeah. going to address him. I think for, there's lots of things. I don't think like, obviously you, you haven't physically done anything wrong, but you are emotionally cheating. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and I've, I think I've shared on this podcast before I had a similar kind of experience where I was like, whoa, like, why am I getting so fulfilled by this guy? That's not my boyfriend. And I sat and talked with him and he was like heartbroken, but it was like, it brought to light. Like we, we had a broken relationship, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think either way, like there needs to be a conversation had, I think that Nathan deserves that. Oh, Nate, a thousand percent deserves like that. Like if he was, if he was chatting up this girl at work and like to the point where she thinks he's so into her that she would try to kiss him. Like, I feel like you would want to know, right? Yeah. I would, yeah. I would be like, whoa, like if you're feeling this way, we got to figure stuff out. Right. Yeah. Um, with Nate, I feel like, uh, I feel, <laughs> I feel so many things for all three people involved, <laughs> Yeah, but in the end, um, I think, I think, you know, that you have feelings for Dan. Yeah. Um, you clearly wouldn't be in this situation having to tell a guy not to kiss you if you didn't have feelings for him. He wouldn't be trying to kiss you, you know, like yeah. that confidently if he, yeah. um, didn't think that you felt the same way. Um, so unfortunately you've gotten yourself in a little bit of a pickle and <sighs> the only way to get out of it is to tell Dan that you have a boyfriend. Yeah. You need to take maybe a day or two and maybe think about um, how you feel. But I think either way, Dan deserves to know about Nate. And I think you should do that period. Oh, like Like now. That would be like the first thing you do. And then (laughs) I would start reassessing why you're feeling this way about Nate. Um, did this happen before? Like Taryn said, did this happen before you met Dan? Did Mm -hmm. this happen after you met Dan? Um, also like if you guys have been dating for a while, like it's normal to, you know, kind of like ebb and flow in your relationship. No, it's not going to have sparks, just like a brand new relationship. That's just how relationships work. Um, so I do think it it is unfair to compare your feelings with Dan to your feelings with Nate, because of course it's new. Of course he's mysterious. You don't know anything about him. You just met him, you know? Um, but all of those things, feel so magical when you first start feeling them. So I think it's really important that you just like cut off those feelings, tell Dan about Nate mm-hmm. and then start, start thinking about, you know, where your heart truly lies. <laughs> yeah. Because I think we've talked about this before. Like we've had people write in about cheating and again, massive disclaimer. I don't think there is ever an, a, a right or an excuse to cheat. I don't think it's right ever. I think that if, if cheating happens, like you should, you should be able to just leave the relationship before. But I think we'd be dumb not to like, look at those scenarios and see what not caused it, but like what was broken to like, Uh start that process. You know what I mean? Like you'd be stupid not to just like, when you break a bone, you look back and you're like, oh, what like, did I do? what did I do to yeah. like, you know, and again, doesn't make it right. I'm not ever saying like you deserve to, anybody deserves that. But I think that if things were healthy and flowing, you know, like you're not necessarily just going to get butterflies over every guy. Like there's an extent, like we're all human. Like yeah. even when you're in a deep, beautiful relationship, I feel like, especially if you're in a healthy, secure relationship, you can still look at other guys and be like, oh, they're hot or other Mm -hmm. girls and oh, they're hot. And that's not weird. There still is like minimal flirting here and Mm -hmm. there. 
But the fact that you are hiding the fact that you are in a relationship says so much, says so much. And so I think that either way you need to sit with your boyfriend and say, Hey, we have to have a hard freaking conversation right now. Yeah. And, um, you know, luckily like you haven't pursued it. So I think that's great, but I think he deserves for you to be honest and say, I am getting like a weird emotional fulfillment from this guy. And I haven't told him I have a boyfriend and that freaked me out that I didn't do that. And I'm not, I haven't acted on anything, but I think like I'm not feeling connected with you and I feel like you deserve to know and just see where the conversation lies. Like you never know. Mm -hmm. He might be like, yeah, I'm feeling the same thing. Or you might see him hurting and be like, what the frick am I doing? Like, I love you. You know what I mean? So I think either way, like this is going to be a really hard season, but I think, I think it's to the point now where like you got to address it. Yeah. And I think what's, what's hard about it is you haven't told anyone. And everything feels worse when you haven't told anyone. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't want to guarantee, but I feel as though once you tell Dan and once you sit down and tell Nate that, you know, here's obviously you didn't do anything wrong, but here's what could have happened. Here's how I was feeling. And I, that bothers me. And that worries me for our relationship. Like, I feel like maybe we're in a different place. I feel like once you have that conversation with him, everything will kind of come to light, you know? Yeah. Dan's going to respond a certain way. Nate's going to respond a certain way. How Nate responds is going to affect you and help you realize like how you really feel. Yeah. But none of, you're not going to know for sure until you talk to them both. So, well, I think too, like you're kind of in that little, um, area where you're like, but I technically haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. And that's that's a a dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. I think like, honestly, what's going to help you the most is if you can sit and be like, bottom line, I've been flirting, messaging, being secretive with a guy that's not my boyfriend. I haven't told him he's my boyfriend. Like I'm in the wrong here. And once you like, I feel like people are so afraid to just admit when they have done something wrong. When they messed up. But once you do it, it's easier to just be like, okay, like let's whatever comes, like I'm ready to accept it. I'm ready to try to fix it, to write it. And then you go from there. Like we all mess up. We're all humans. Like we all suck, you know? So it's like, I think the, the sooner you're able to just rest on the fact of like, yes, I did emotionally cheat on you. And like, I did do stuff that's like sketch. Then it's like, okay, like where do we go from here? Yeah. And you're not a bad person. I, again, I literally was in a very, very similar situation. Like it happens. It's relationships are hard, but I think what's going to really define you is how you move forward from this. So you seriously got this. I think you wouldn't write in if you weren't like striving for like a a change or like a different solution. Yeah. So definitely like you're on the right track. You got this. Proud of you, girl. Please keep us updated. Jen, thank you so much for writing yeah. in. This was very interesting. Um, and yeah, good luck with everything. I got it. So proud of you. You've got this. Cool. Well, thank you both for sending your stuff in. It's, you know, I feel like we get a lot of relationship stuff. It's almost always relationship because stuff. Because that's like, I mean, that's like the, ugh, that's what's like that's heartbreaking. The, that's what's yeah. hard to deal with because your emotions are so entangled in it. Yeah. Oof. And it's, it's very interesting, like, I'm sure, um, like Jen, she probably could go to a lot of people and get totally different. Like some people would be like, you're fine. You didn't do anything. Just like break it off with what's his face, you know? So it's just like, it's always interesting to me. Like you guys send in stuff and you know, we give our opinions, but it's always interesting just because we could totally like, there's not, I feel like there's only been a couple episodes where we differed in our opinions. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Mm Mm-hmm. But anyway, so I hope this helps. I hope, you know, we definitely try, like I try when I give advice and I don't know, I'm sure you're the same. Like I try to imagine this is like Ashley telling me the story or yeah. like my brother's telling me the story. And I'm like, what would I say if like, I like cherish this person. For them so much. I care for you so much. I want the best for you. Like, what would I say? So hopefully it always like hits from that place. Yeah. But 
we definitely are never throwing judgment. We love never. you guys all. And yeah, this felt great. This felt just like wonderful. give advice. Again. Back on track. Back on track. Um, I have a dad joke. You better. You know, it was, it was hard like finding Halloween ones because I was like, which ones did I use last year? And uh -huh. then, you know, I had to keep it fresh. All right. Ready? Mm hmm. My sister bought a set of odorless perfumes. Do you want to guess the punchline? Odorless perfumes. Mm -hmm. A set? Odorless? Deodorant? <laughs> Ashley, I want to make a book. I want to make a book called Guess the Dad Joke, and it's just going to be your responses, and then you flip the page, and there's the answer. Odorless. She said deodorant. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. So my sister bought a set of odorless perfumes. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said deodorant. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you guys so much for writing in. It feels so good to be back with what yes. we do best. Yes. Um, I do want to just go ahead and say, like, just because Halloween's over doesn't mean you have to stop sharing scary stories. If you have scary stories, send them in. We'll read them. A thousand Will percent. We? Oh, we I'll read them. We didn't talk about this beforehand. Yeah, you I'm can send kidding. them in whenever. Um, oh, also, like, send in, like, real life. Like, what's going on at your work? What's yeah. going on with your family relationship? What's going on with, like, the last doctor visit you had? Holidays like, it are literally up. can be anything and it doesn't have to be something like current you can like talk about like a weird date experience that happened like years ago that you still it just kind of sticks with you like the sky is the limit mm -hmm. send it all in also don't forget to like rate share um this episode review, review subscribe, subscribe. Mm -hmm. um and yeah follow us on all our socials and it'll be great it'll be a good time we also have video so check out our youtube channel if you want to watch channel, us the channel uh, and yeah, that's all. Yeah. Love you guys. Love you all. Bye. Bye.